Yesterday ends in a bull breakout and then start of a channel into the close. However, since the market also formed a V-bottom yesterday, this is likely just a bull rally to the top of the trading range, where strong institutional bears are waiting to turn the market down. Today on the 30-minute chart, the market formed a higher low in the trading range yesterday and rallied into the close. The bulls saw this as another attempt to break out of the trading range, and the bears saw this as a triple top and great place to short. Today's context for the open, the market is opening as a huge gap down to near the bottom of the higher time frame trading range, near the V-bottom of four days ago. This is a support area, so look for signs of bullish strength to go long, and signs of a successful bear breakout, follow-through, and a breakout test to go short. In today's video, I focus on higher time frame levels and pre-market preparation. When the prior trading day closes, mark relevant levels and channels on the higher time frame. Make sure they are synced to your trading time frame. For example, the blue dashed lines to the right are also shown here. What levels should you mark on your chart? If the market is in a channel, roughly mark the top and bottom of the channel. The minimum requirement to draw a bull channel is two higher highs and two higher lows. The minimum requirement to draw a bear channel is two lower highs and two lower lows. If the market is in a trading range, mark V bottoms and tops, as well as double and triple bottoms and tops. Note that the market may be in a channel and trading range at the same time. For example, going into today, the market is in a larger trading range and a smaller trading range. Mark all levels that you think are relevant because they are great places to be looking for setups throughout the day. Over time, your ability to identify relevant levels will improve. The market opens at the bottom of the larger trading range on the higher time frame. We see early bullish strength from the support level. Bar 3 is a good signal bar to go long, so you can stop order above it. I did not, since my stop loss would be 12 points away. Note that you are not filled by the close of bar 4 anyway, which is an attempt by the bears to break through the bottom of the trading range. After bar 4, watch for signs of bearish follow-through on bar 5 since there may be a great opportunity to short soon. The bear breakout's follow-through is an engulfing bull body and a rejection of the bear case of a breakout below the trading range. This is the second sign of bullish strength at a support level. It's reasonable to go long above bull bar 5 though I did not because my stop would have to be 16 points away. You can also place a limit order at 50% of the bull body in case of a pullback, but even this order does not get filled on the next bar. The bullish follow-through is bad, with each big bull body being followed by a bear body. On the 5-minute chart, this is classic wedge behavior and suggests a bear correction is likely to happen soon. Bar 15 is a good signal bar short at the bottom of the trading range going into yesterday's close and one of the levels we marked on the higher time frame. It's reasonable to stop order short below it, but the stop loss would have to be placed 12 points away, so I did not. Since this is not a second signal short, I did not place a limit order to short at 50% of bar 15's body, though bar 16 would not have filled it anyway. At all times, you have to be evaluating the bull case and the bear case. The bears see a bear channel, whereas the bulls see a double bottom forming near the low of the day and the bottom of the trading range on the higher time frame. Whenever both cases are strong, you wait. When one case is stronger than the other, then you know you have a likely edge. Bulls see great signal bars to go long near the bottom of the trading range and a double bottom with the low of the day. 
bears see no break of the bear channel yet and can claim the bulls are not particularly strong. Both sides have great cases, so you should wait. Bar 44 is an attempt to break through the low of the day and a second attempt to break through the trading range on the higher time frame. Bar 45 is bad follow-through. The bear case for a breakout has been significantly damaged now, and the bull case for a lower low double bottom with the prior low of the day is strong. Stop order long above bar 45, or if the risk is too much, limit order at 50% of bar 45's body. Bar 48, bears see a failed attempt to break above the low of yesterday and another attempt to break below the higher time frame trading range soon. Bulls see an opportunity to fail another breakout below the range and create a double bottom with the prior failed bear breakout. Bar 52 is a great signal bar long after the bulls destroyed the bear case yet again. Stop order long above it or limit order long at 50% of its body. I will not mark the trade management here due to lack of space. There are more great stop order scalps within the trading range going into today's close, but I do not have room to mark them all. The market is awaiting the core PPI and unemployment claims reports tomorrow to decide on future direction. Note that it's possible to take many trades today with limit orders right on the relevant levels in order to catch many of the strong moves that I could not take with stop orders. I will perhaps cover this in a future video.